Hey, what's up everybody? It is Cody here from Metal Miners. Um, shooting another um, Metal Miners Bandcamp Saturday special. Although um, I will say, although it is Saturday that I'm filming this, um, chances are it probably won't go up till Sunday. Um, if it does go up on Saturday, uh, it will probably be late at night. Um, but yeah, more than likely it'll be Sunday. The acronym still holds up with the two S's, so, you know, not the worst thing to happen. Um, just kind of had stuff to do on Saturday and um, didn't really, you know, have all the time I wanted to. So um, I will get it filmed today. So uh, that has to be, you know, something i guess i don't i don't know i'm just kind of rambling at this point um but yeah it'll probably be uh posted on sunday rather than today um but don't hold that against me uh very sorry uh, to keep you all <laughs> waiting um i'm sure mr beast or anthony fantano uh, have the same um, problems as i do with this regard um, so let's just get right into it, of course, um, this is the weekly segment I do where I highlight five projects, um, put out by different entities on Bandcamp, uh, typically black metal, um, some dungeon scent, haven't done a death metal release yet, but I'm sure one will come up soon, uh, but, you know, I just mostly listen to black metal i guess so it's gonna be what i talk about um so let's get right into it <clears throat> uh the first um is a full length uh entitled ultimate rage by a band called non Sernai. uh this is indonesian raw black metal um i've seen this posted a lot um amongst like the the real cult uh pages who you know sort of idolize like raw black metal above above all else which i wouldn't say i subscribe to i certainly find it interesting at times um i will say though that there are some of these true cult uh raw black metal bands that have some acclaim to them that I've listened to recently um, and just couldn't be bothered to talk about it. Um, some that have really big names that I won't mention, but I feel like a lot of it's just kind of hype and stuff, you know? Uh, but this is a release that I found really interesting. Um, I believe the vinyl uh, is out on Black Gang Green. Uh, this came out in 2021. Uh, super, you know, cavernous rim raw black metal sounds like it was recorded in a cave or something uh had some really good riffs um and there's an organ interlude that i found really interesting as well uh, overall just a really good release um from what i understand it's the lyrics uh are basically about um I should have done more research on this, but it's like this uh, old kingdom in Indonesia that the lyrics are written about. So it's kind of, you know, kind of historical stuff, uh, which I found interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you like raw black metal, this is really well done. Uh, I really liked it. Um, it kind of keeps true to like the raw black metal kind of aesthetic and uh, sound, uh, but it's still something that's interesting. Um, so definitely check that out. That is Ultimate Rage by Nan Sunari.
is Sepulchral Chance of Self-Destruction uh, by Blood Chalice. Um, this is actually recommended to me um, from my good friend Gordon over at the Black and Hymns channel. Um, this is a uh, Finnish black metal slash war metal. came out in 2017. It's a four piece, um, really well done war metal. Um, kind of the same thing with black metal. I, I, I mean, the raw black metal, it can kind of get stagnant at sometimes. Uh, but <clears throat> not with this release. I, I found it really interesting and worthwhile to listen to. Um, you know, sometimes, like I said, it can just kind of be repetitive and just kind of like, oh, it's another war metal release. But this is a really good one. Um, anything that's finished, I've, I've come to find out over these past few weeks just always turns out being really good, especially as far as black metal goes. Uh, and this is, you know, no different. Um, it's a full length, uh, like I said, it came out in 2017. Um, and so if you're into those types of things, you know, war metal, um, even if you're not into war metal, um, if you're into death metal, or if you're just kind of like, well, I like black metal, but I don't know if I like war metal, definitely still check this out. Um, because it has good production, uh, unlike some more metal outfits and it still kind of holds true to that, like aggressive, uh, death metal kind of style stuff. Um, so I would, I mean, if you're in any type of metal, I guess not if you're like a, a new metal only kind of person, uh, you would find this interesting, I think, um. So that's Sepulchral Chance of Self-Destruction uh, by Blood Chalice. Magni, it's a full length. Magni Blandin OK Megantiri uh, by Falkenbach. Um, this is German um, <clears throat> Viking slash pagan uh, slash black metal, I guess you'd consider it. Um, think like later uh, Bathory, and you basically have what this release is. Um, really epic um, music, um, has clean vocals, has some kind of grittier vocals at the same time. Um, but <clears throat> it's a one man band, which really kind of blew me away. Typically, you know, these sort of epic projects, from what I understand, take more than, you know, just one person to come up with. Not to say that you know, a one-man project can't be intricate and have different, um, you know, just different things going on. Um, but I, I was really impressed that this is a one-man project. Uh, this came out in 1998. Like I said, it's German. Um, but the lyrics, uh, I believe I read were written, some were written in Latin, old Icelandic, I believe and um they revolve around sort of like you know as any viking metal uh would have you believe just kind of like norse mythology norse heroes that kind of stuff um so i found it really cool it was kind of a a good break up from you know the typical black metal that i listen to um have those clean vocals in there that that um <clears throat> you know sometimes clean vocals for me i might as well just listen to you know something else rather than metal but i didn't feel that during this listen um this is something that i think i could listen to you know like my sister in the car or something like that um wouldn't get too much lip about it um 
but yeah, this is a really interesting release. Um, if you like that later Bathory style, uh, like Hammerheart type stuff, definitely check this out. Um, <clears throat> and that is Magni Blandin OK Megantiri uh, by Falkenbach. Um, and I believe I saw most of the releases are still on vinyl over at um, Out of Season uh, label. So if you found, you know, you liked it, uh, definitely go cop one over at Out of Season. Uh, I've ordered a bunch of stuff from them over the times and they always deliver, you know, really promptly and always have my stuff in there. Um, so always, you know, shouts out to Out of Season label. Um, called Awakening of the Luciferian Darkness by Malum. Um, this is another Finnish black metal release. Um, what can I say? This is this is this is definitely Finnish black metal. I mean, if you if you like that Finnish black metal sound, you're definitely gonna like this. This comp is actually made up of um, a, their self-titled demo uh, from 2014. Um, and then also the Awakening of the Black Flame uh, EP. This is a five piece. And like I said, you know, <clears throat> this is definitely, you know, that Finnish style black metal. Um, really good stuff. I really liked, I mean, obviously there's an A and B side featuring the EP and the demo. Um, I think I kind of prefer the EP side. I feel like that's a little more uh, mature, I guess you'd say. Um, but both sides are really good. Um, so, like I said, if you're if you're into like that Finnish sound or just any like you know meat and potatoes kind of black metal, definitely check this out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, and also features a really true cool black metal cover or the guy. You know, kind of doing the the black metal face, and it's all black and white Xerox or whatever. So uh, definitely, if you're into that kind of stuff, that's kind of what caught my eye on it. Uh, truth be told, so um, check that out. Awakening of the Luciferian Darkness by Malum. I won't be able to explain as well as the others um, just because it's kind of out of my wheelhouse a little bit uh, this is a full length um, divided in life by Murta Vod uh, it's Ukrainian one-man black metal um, by a guy named Wanja uh, I'm not sure if that's like an alias or if that's his real name I'm not too familiar with Ukrainian names and things such as that um i actually got hit to this uh by following ket iraq on instagram um these two share a project uh called felvum um so once i saw that you know i was like well let me see if it's kind of similar to ket iraq and it's really not it's really uh i mean it's they're both black metal but whereas ket iraq is like um romantic and kind of like gothic uh Murtavad is more like um haunting and shrill i would say um this reminds me i mean i haven't listened to a lot of leviathan 
uh, but it reminds me, of, the vocal style at least, reminds me a lot of Leviathan kind of vocal style with like very shrill, uh, like howling or screeching. I'm not sure what you call it. Um, <clears throat> I listened to this um, two times and then I was like, I don't really like this. And then I was like, well, let me listen to it a few more times just for my man crying orc at Ketter Rock. And I listened to it probably three more times and it's really grown on me. I really like it. It's got good riffs. The music's really good. Um, it just took a lot for me to get used to that kind of vocal style. I'm not a big Leviathan fan or, you know, anything that kind of, you know, goes to the side of like DSBM, that kind of stuff. Um, but I found it really interesting the more I listened to it. And I could kind of get used to that kind of vocal style, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, if you're into the Leviathan, uh, the early Leviathan, the more like raw black metal stuff, or like, um, what's that, the name of his, the most famous one, like the 10th sub-level of Suicide or something like that. If you like that kind of like vocal style, that's kind of what I thought of as I was listening to it, that kind of shrill, shrieky uh, kind of vocal style. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely check this out. Um, I'm trying to think of where the vinyl, I, I know I saw the vinyl somewhere. Um, actually, I think there's some on Bandcamp. Um, but yeah, check out uh, Divided in Life by Mertzavad. <laughs> trying to think about anything coming up i do have a few vinyl to show um i'll probably try and post a video on wednesday or something like that give this day a few give this video a few days to breathe or whatnot um i think i have like four vinyl to show um i know i have some death metal in there so you'll get a reprieve from all my black metal um so keep an eye out for that uh, I'm sure my dad has got a video coming down the pipeline at some point. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I think that about does it for me. Um, thanks for watching. And remember, only the good stuff.